Hello! It's Sunday and you know what time it is? It's time for Eat It Anyway. Today we're making some chicken pot pie. If you're in Pittsburgh, you know it was hot yesterday, like 67. Today it cooled way down, so let's get something nice and warm to eat. All right, here are our ingredients. We got olive oil, an onion, some garlic, butter, carrots, chicken broth, green beans, salt, chicken, celery, flour, chicken seasoning, and almond milk. All right, so this recipe, which I got from my fitness pal, says to start out with the dough. Um, it says to do it ahead of time, but it doesn't say how long, so I don't know what that means. So we'll just do that first and hope for the best. Let's go. All right, upon further investigation, it says to prepare the dough at least an hour beforehand. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna listen to that or not, but here we go. So we're gonna start out with three fourths or 95 grams of all-purpose flour. All right, so next it wants one eighth teaspoon of salt, but I only have one fourth teaspoon, so I'm just gonna fill it in half. Looks about right, here we go. All right, so now that we added the salt, it wants one fourth cup of additional flour. I don't know why it wants more flour now, but I'm gonna add it, we'll see what happens. Next we add four tablespoons of butter. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. <laughs> and we're out. All right, so I'm gonna level with you. This might be a disaster. I've never made this recipe before, and I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm taking some liberties to make it a little easier. So <laughs> now that we um, added the butter, we have to mix it up, and it says to cut in the butter. So I only added two tablespoons initially, and I'm gonna start mixing up just to see what it looks like. Hopefully we get some dough today, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you can really tell, but it's getting pretty crumbly, and that's what the recipe said, so I think we're onto something. I'm gonna add these next two teaspoons of butter. Ready to mix the next two? All right, we're cooking with gas now. It's looking way more crumbly. Check it out. It's so crumbly. All right, so to actually get a dough, we have to add three tablespoons of cold water. Not hot, not medium, or room temperature. Cold water. Here's the tricky part. One. <laughs> Two. Three. Now it's time to mix it all up again. Here we go. It's still looking very crumbly, but I just need to roll this into a ball and then flatten it out. And once it's flat, I'm gonna refrigerate it for an hour. The penguins start in about 20 minutes, so I'll start watching the pregame and cutting up and getting our rest of the ingredients ready. All right, I'm starting to get this into a ball now. It's kind of thick. I might have to add a little bit more water. Um, Queen says whenever you're mixing things up like this, only use one hand so that you don't have both hands dirty. You can do it with something else. Yeah, gross, huh? Here we go. All right, so I mixed it up the rest of the way and it didn't stick to my hand, look. Nothing. We're good. Look at the bowl. Dry as a bone. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of flatten this out. I don't have a rolling pin, so I might use one of these booze bottles, clean it off and roll it out. And then I'll stick it in the fridge for about an hour. But here's the thing. So I'd also don't have a pie pan. Is a pie pan a thing, a pie dish? I don't know. And I wanna take this to work. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make pot pie muffins. So I wanna just line these things. So I'm just gonna leave it flat, I guess, and then I'll break it up once, once it's cool. All right, is this fine? Kinda of rolling it out. <laughs> Queen's probably screaming at this video right now. Mom, it's fine. Just get me a rolling pin next time you come up. 
<laughs> there, flat. Flat as a pancake. Let's get this thing in the fridge so we can start making the innards, the, the filling <laughs> innards. All right, so I was thinking about this and how am I gonna get this thing in the fridge? What am I gonna cover it with? I don't know. So because I'm gonna put it in this thing anyway, I'm just gonna do that now and then put it in the fridge. It's gonna be fine, right? Apparently this makes six servings. So I'm just gonna fill six of these holes. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit here, rip this off. I guess make a little ball. And just kind of shove it in here. Ooh, I should spray this first. Guys, always use spray for things because then it comes out easier. All right. This is like pretty clean, I'd say. This is clean. Guys, it's clean. Spray, spray, spray. There's four. Which ones else should I do? I'll do this one. Five, oh, six. There. Now it's not gonna stick. I am so smart, everybody. All right. I don't know. This is fine. All right, just kind of squish it in there to make a little cup. I have an idea. So I'm gonna use this little cup to see if that'll... <laughs> that was a terrible idea. All right, I'm gonna just get all that off. So it was a good idea in, in theory, but not in practice. All right, so you'll see that I ripped that one, so I'm just gonna add a little more depth. All this has to do is function as a little cup for my... How do these look? I know they don't go to the top, but I was trying to save some dough to cover them. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge for about an hour. I'll probably cover it with some plastic wrap or something just to make sure um, it doesn't smell or taste weird. I don't know. Is there a purpose behind that? Probably not, but better be safe than sorry, right? All right, so I got the plastic wrap on there. I like to use blue because it reminds me of the ocean. <laughs> just kidding, that's all we got. I, I don't know. Just chopping up some onion. Make sure that they don't make you cry. I don't know what the trick is to um, to stop that from happening. I like to wear my glasses. I don't know if that helps or not. Maybe it stops the, oh geez, that one everywhere. Maybe that stops the juices from flying into your eyes, but I don't know. My eyes are so burny right now, it didn't work. All right, so this calls for um, two cloves of garlic, but I'm gonna use three because the stench will keep vampires and my coworkers at bay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I really don't mind vampires. <laughs> All right, so this says mince it. I think we have a mincing machine in here somewhere. Uh, what do we got? There it is. So I'm just gonna shove these guys in here. I guess I really didn't need to chop them up first, but you know, whatever. Then you just bring this guy over and let me get a bowl. Keep this thing contained. Uh, this thing kind of sucks. Let me put some more in there. Do, do, do. This is, whenever you chop them up, they're real slippy, so be careful. <laughs> All right, look, look, look. All right, so I'm just gonna cut this off and keep squishing. Chopping up some celery here. I normally think celery is gross, but um, in chicken pot pie, it's really not too bad. So every dog has its day, I guess. I don't know. 
Ooh, it smells like garbage. I don't know if you guys ever, um, when you were a kid, if you ever had ants on a log, I would always just lick the peanut butter off and throw the raisins and celery in the garbage. I wasn't one to be fooled. All right. <laughs> All right, so this has to be like 80 grams or something. I'm just gonna stick it in here. All right, next up is carrot sticks. Do you guys remember that episode of Rugrats where Tommy and Chucky go to the playground and it's like the wild, wild west and there's that bully there and she spits gum in this girl's hair and then this girl gets her back or Tommy gets her back because she blows a big bubble and he stabs it with his uh, popsicle stick. Well, at the end of the episode, spoiler alert, she's not chewing gum anymore because her mom had to cut all of her hair off because the gum went everywhere. But she is having carrot stick. And she offers one to Tommy and then they become friends. So he really won out. Every time I eat carrots, that's what I always think of. I'm just having some carrot sticks. Oh, shoot. I have to wash these ones off. How come all the food that I always try to make always jumps off the counter at me? It's like they're trying to fight back like Tommy Pickles. Doo -doo -doo. Be careful not to cut yourself. Knives are sharp. Sometimes they jump out at me too. Just gotta dodge them. Show them who's boss. Ooh. All right, so this recipe originally called for shredded rotisserie chicken, but that sounded like a mess to me. So I just got chicken breasts and I'm just gonna cook them up. Let me see, here they are, chicken breasts. I'm just gonna cook them up on the stove and try and shred them myself and see how it goes. All right, listen to that sizzle. Mmm, chicken. But here's the thing, folks, you gotta remember to season your stuff. So I think you saw in my last video, um, I like to use garlic powder. A little bit of garlic powder in my life. There we go, looks good. Um, seasoned salt. A little bit of seasoned salt by my side. And what else? How about like a little bit of pepper or something? I don't know. What do we got in here? Fresh red pepper, nah. Oh. How about a little bit of Italian seasoning? That might be good. I know it's not pepper, but it eh, might be fine. I don't know. We're just winging it here, people. Just winging it. I'm gonna have it for lunch anyway. <laughs> no one has to eat this but me. Here's our steamed green beans. I just put them in the microwave. I feel like that's the easiest way to go. So I'm just gonna measure them out so we're ready for the filling. All right, so I just flipped the chickens. Check out how they look. We got a nice sear on these suckers. All right, so we have about 20 minutes until the dough is ready. So I'm gonna preheat the oven to 375. All right, bake. 375, please, all right. I also have the rest of the ingredients ready to go for the filling. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of how much stuff we're using for each. All right, first up we have 100 grams of onion, three cloves of garlic, two stalks of celery, which comes out to about 80 grams, uh, 100 grams of carrots, one cup or four ounces of green beans. We're also gonna add three fourths cup of flour, one cup of chicken broth, one cup of 1% milk, but I'm using almond milk. Maybe that's better, maybe it's worse. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, one teaspoon of poultry seasoning, poultry, poultry, chicken seasoning. So I have chicken bouillon cubes. I might just smash that up and use that. Is that right? Again, 
I've never done this before. We'll see. <laughs> um, half, a half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and then three cups of chopped or shredded cooked chicken. Like I said, I'm not doing that. I'm doing just over a pound of chicken, which I guess is three cups. I, I don't know. And um, yeah, it should be fine. It's just, it's gonna be fine. All right, so the chicken's looking pretty good. I'm gonna cut into it just to see if it's still pink on the inside. Handy dandy knife. The bigger the knife, the better. Just don't cut yourself. Let's see. All right, that looks pretty good. That's probably like the thickest section of the of the chicken breast. So I'm just gonna cube this up and get it ready. Our oven's preheated. That was what that beep was. So we're pretty good. All right, so I was just going to cube it, but look, I could just shred it like the rotisserie chicken. And this is gonna be far less messy. Easy squeezy. I'm supposed to have three cups of this. Oh. All right, so I got my three cups of chicken. It was so much easier just using the chicken breast. I would go chicken breast. I'm sure rotisserie tastes better, but if you just season this, I'm sure it'd be fine. All right, now it's time for the filling. I just turned this back on. I'm letting it heat up again. I added a little bit of olive oil. And then to that, I'm going to add some onion, garlic, celery, carrots, green beans. Now I'm gonna cook it in for three minutes until it's tender. All right, let's see what our dough looks like. It is officially done. It was in there for one hour. See that blue cellophane or whatever you call it? Wow, it looks exactly the same. It's probably a little firmer though. Looks a little darker. All right, filling time. All right, so first things first, here comes the onion. Woohoo, listen to that. They always say that on all cooking shows, right? As soon as they put anything in the skillet, Wow, listen to that, as if they've never heard it before. <laughs> I'm making love it too, I'm, you know, I'm the same guy. All right, uh, garlic. Garlic. I didn't clean out this pan, because I wanted to get the chicken flavoring in there too. Hopefully it works, I don't know. Um, celery. Celery's in. Carrots. All right, what else we got? Carrots, green beans. Cook three minutes until tender. All right, so I'm gonna get a glove. So I'm burn myself. You never wanna burn yourself. Check this one out. Brother got these a while ago. They look like sharks. All right, <laughs> settle down. Mixing this up, three minutes on the clock, one, two, three. Cool, looks good. Stick this on there, see you in three minutes. All right, here's what it looks like after three minutes. Now I'm gonna sprinkle in uh, 30 grams of flour over top of it and mix it for one minute. All right, here we go. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. That looks fine, right? Mix it for one minute. Give me a clock. There we go. Give me my shark. Mix, mix, mix. One minute. It smells good. I wish I could uh, send you guys the smells or you can smell this thing, but it smells pretty good. I'm trying to scrape the whatever was on the bottom into this. Halfway through, 30 seconds to go. Oh, 
What a save. Mixed it all up. Scrape all that yuck off. All right. Now, how much? Chicken broth, one cup of chicken broth, coming up. All right, um, broth, milk, or drink season. Here's the broth. I don't know how much chicken seasoning I need. Um, one teaspoon. I would say one of these blocks is a teaspoon, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna add one of these blocks. I think that would be more than fine. Oh, if I could get it open. These are the trickiest things to open. If you ever get bullion cubes and they're like pre-packaged like this or individually packaged, they are terribly difficult to get unwrapped. All right, so that's in there. Throw away the wrapper. All right, what else we got? Poultry seasoning, salt and pepper. I'm just gonna do it to taste. I don't care, it's fine, right? A little bit of salt, Maybe. I don't know where the pepper is. Check out our, um, our seasoning cabinet. We're big seasoning fans here. Oh, here we go. This isn't what I was looking for, but it was exactly what I was looking for. Black pepper. Ugh. If I could get it open. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, that's in there. Here comes our one cup of almond milk. This has a vanilla flavoring to it, so that probably won't taste very good, but maybe we won't even taste it. I don't know. Too late now. <laughs> All right. Um, what else we got? Yeah, I think that's it. So I'm just going to kind of mix this up a little bit. Where is my shark glove? Baby shark glove, do 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 do. Baby shark glove, do 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 do. Baby shark glove. All right, mixing this up. Yeah, I bet the one percent uh, fat milk would probably thicken this up a little bit. But who am I to say? Here's the bullion cube. I don't know if I'm just gonna try and crush it up and then mix it in because I don't know that it's gonna dissolve. So let me see how long this is supposed to cook. Mm -hmm. Stirring until well blended, cook five minutes or until thickened and bubbly. So here's five minutes on the clock. Stirring chicken, green beans. Oh, I already put the green beans in. They're gonna be soggy. Um, and spoon mixture into the pan. So in five minutes, I'm gonna put these in the little cups. All right, we have about a minute left, but I just wanna show you what it looks like. It definitely thickened up a whole bunch. It's definitely boiling, all of the vegetables are soft. I can definitely smell the vanilla and that's gonna be garbage. So if you didn't learn anything else today, learn that you shouldn't use flavored milk. <laughs> um, hopefully it'll be salvage. Hopefully it'll be salvageable, but we'll see. All right, the buzzer just went off. It's time to add the chicken. Ew. All right, let me get some of this, all the extra little bits out of there. It's a lot of chicken, which is good. High protein. 
I guess it, the moral of the story, I mean, this might taste like garbage because of the vanilla, but at least it will be good for me, right? Where, do you guys always lose oven mitts? Oh, guess what I did? Nope, I didn't put it back. Uh, oh, here it is, found it. Let me stir this up. It's looking good, actually, but... It smells a little weird. It might be fine. All right, here's what the insides look like. Just mixing it up. Mix, mix, mix. All right, so I'm gonna start divvying this up. Um, I feel like I should do it with a spoon. Let me get one of the big ones we got here. Here is a large spoon. Gonna take a little bit of it. Oh. Whoop. Um, something tells me I'm gonna have way too much filling. And that's fine. Maybe I can just snag some puff pastry tomorrow. And then I'll just make some extra ones shoot yeah look at this way too much filling that's fine that's what this is all about learning lessons to get better at it for next time oh gosh oh man way overdid it it's fine guys it's fine Yeah, so this says six helpings. This is not six helpings, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, well, maybe I can use this one for a seventh, and I'll just leave the tops off. Cool. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. All right, so it just dinged. Let's see what it looks like. All right. It looks a little burnt, but it smells good. It smells like vanilla. <laughs> All right, not bad. All right, we did it. Here's the final product. Looks pretty good, right? Check that out. Um, let's uh, let's test it out. It's very hot, but. You can taste the vanilla a little bit, but it's not overpowering. Yeah, it's really not bad. Um, next time I would definitely use original or just unflavored almond milk. You can still use almond milk, just make sure it's not vanilla. Um, what else did we learn? Um, you can definitely supplement chicken breasts for a rotisserie chicken. That way you're not picking out bones and all that kind of stuff. And I would maybe try using a pie pan next time. I mean, these are great, but I only got about half of the filling in them. So that kind of skews my nutritional facts, but I don't know, what are you gonna do? Anyway, I'd say this was a win. It wasn't too hard. It took about an hour and a half or so. But uh, yeah, definitely try it. They're pretty good, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.